how many times I've been crossed off the list and left for dead. So this, this ain't nothing new. Way before Vin Diesel was burning rubber as Dominic Toretto in those wild Fast and Furious flicks, or doing some spy action as Xander Cage in Triple X, or even lending his voice to that lovable tree guy Groot in the Marvel movies, Vin Diesel first stepped onto the scene as the tough anti-hero Richard B. Riddick back in 2000's Pitch Black. Now, that film might have been made on a shoestring budget, but it kicked off Riddick's big screen journey. Things really heated up in 2004 with The Chronicles of Riddick, and then again in 2013 with Riddick's solo adventure. After nearly a decade of waiting, Vin Diesel has dropped the bombshell that he's coming back for Riddick 4. Yep, he even teased it once while showing off those muscles. And guess what? Along with this big announcement, we're getting the first juicy details about what's in store for our favorite spacefaring badass. Vin Diesel is teaming up once again with director-writer David Toohey, who has been behind all the previous Riddick movies, including helping out with the script for Pitch Black alongside Ken and Jim Wheats. This time, they're bringing us Riddick 4, titled Riddick Furia. According to Deadline, this new chapter takes our favorite anti-hero back to his home planet, a place he barely remembers, fearing it might have been destroyed by the Necromongers. But when he sets foot on Furia, he discovers a whole new battle brewing. There are other Furians fighting for survival against a fresh threat, and some of them might just have a lot in common with Riddick himself. Not only is Vin Diesel reprising his role as Riddick, but he's also stepping into the producer's chair alongside Samantha Vincent through their company One Race Films. And get this, Rocket Science and CAA Media Finance are gearing up to sell the rights to the movie worldwide at the European Film Festival next week. David Toohey, who's got quite the resume with projects like Timescape, The Fugitive, and Waterworld, expressed his excitement about Riddick Furia, saying it's been a long time coming. He's stoked to delve into Riddick's origins on his home turf, after collaborating with Vin Diesel and One Race for two decades, bringing us not just movies, but video games, anime, and more. The idea for Riddick 4 has been brewing since January 2014, not long after Riddick hit theaters. Vin Diesel spilled the beans that Universal Pictures was keen on another installment, by 2016, Diesel let slip that the next flick was dubbed The Chronicles of Riddick Furia, but by July 2019, it got shortened to Riddick Furia. Diesel kept dangling the prospect of another Riddick adventure to his fans as late as December 2021, and now, finally, it seems like it's happening. This Riddick 4 news drops just as two big chapters in Vin Diesel's career are wrapping up. May's Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3 marks the end of the line for that MCU crew, while Fast X, also releasing in May, is set to be the second-to-last hurrah for the main Fast and Furious series, with Fast 11 revving up for 2024. On top of that, Diesel's lending his voice to arc the animated series later this year, and while he's been attached to Triple X 4 since 2018, it's a bit hazy where things stand with that action-packed project right now. But Riddick 4 should be the next big thing for Vin? Because it's the best sci-fi franchise. Here's why it's the ultimate sci-fi franchise ever. The scope of each film differs. First off, each Riddick movie has its own vibe and scale. You've got Pitch Black, which kicks things off with a tight claustrophobic setting. Then there's The Chronicles of Riddick, which goes all out with its epic space opera feel. And let's not forget about Riddick, which brings it back to a more intimate, survivalist kind of story. Despite being a mixed bag, The Chronicles of Riddick does wonderful world-building. In The Chronicles of Riddick, we get a deeper look into Riddick's backstory, revealing that he's not just any old tough guy, he's the last of his kind, a Furian. It turns out he's been hunted down by mercenary teams because he poses a threat to the Necromongers, who wiped out his people due to a prophecy that a Furian would be their downfall. This expansion of Riddick's character works well in Chronicles because it adds layers without giving away all the mystery. Riddick remains as enigmatic as ever, even as we learn more about his past. Costuming and Set Design While it's no secret that the Chronicles of Riddick is often considered the weakest of the Riddick films, there's one area where it undeniably shines – production design. In simple terms, it looks stunning, especially for its time. 
One of the coolest things about the Riddick universe is its post-apocalyptic vibe. It's like everyone stepped out of a Mad Max movie and decided to take a trip to outer space. Even when Chronicles goes a bit overboard with the glossy effects, you can't deny the intricate detail in the costumes, especially those worn by the Necromongers. I mean, those helmets alone are like something out of a sci-fi fan's wildest dreams, giving off major I-can-see-everything vibes. For the most part, it does not mind being R-rated. In Pitch Black, you've got a bunch of characters stranded on a hostile planet, facing off against some seriously nasty winged creatures. It's gritty, it's violent, and it's definitely not for the faint of heart. Both Pitch Black and Riddick don't pull any punches when it comes to storytelling. They're full of twists and turns, keeping you on the edge of your seat right up until Riddick inevitably walks away at the end. Take Pitch Black, for example. Its lead character bites the dust, and given her choices throughout the movie, it's a death that leaves you with mixed emotions. That's just solid narrative craftsmanship whether you're into sci-fi action or not. Little is known about the Furians. As of mid-2023, Vin Diesel has been keeping fans in the loop with steady updates on Riddick Furia. And these updates aren't just vague promises, they're getting more and more detailed, hinting that this project could very well become a reality in today's world of streaming platforms and theatrical releases. And with a title like that, you can bet fans are eager to learn more about Furia, a planet that's only been teased in previous movies. Furia gets a few mentions in the Chronicles of Riddick, but it remains shrouded in mystery. What we do know is that it's Riddick's home planet, and it seems to have met some pretty dire fate. Considering Riddick's skills as a fighter and the implication that other Furians were just as tough, it raises the question, what could have possibly wiped them out? Exploring this mystery could easily provide the fuel for a fourth film in the franchise. Fans are definitely hungry for more insight into Riddick's past and the world he comes from, and Riddick Furia seems poised to deliver just that. The franchise mixes genres. Pitch Black is all about horror first. 